Hello guys, my name is Martin as always and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a few easy tips, easy techniques, how you can retouch, how you can fix your macro image in Photoshop. And truth be told, I wasn't really active recently with recording videos. The reason is why, because I was doing my high-end Photoshop course, which is available, of course, on skillfit.com over here. So if you want to get this course, check this website, skillfit.com. I put the link in the description. Uh, it's a really fantastic course, over four-hour course. So if you want to know how to get really fantastic look, that's something for you. So let's go back to our video. And as you can see on this image, we have a lot of these ugly spots all around the area. So I'm going to start with them. And truth be told, once again, there is no one tool that actually lets you remove everything straight away and that's it it actually going to cause some work and that's very basic methods to do we have very basic methods to do the thing i'm going to do is just create a new layer and there's two tools you can use by fixing this image to fix this image the first tool is this clone stamp tool so we can use clone stamp tool and simply by cloning the background which is very simple we can cover these ugly areas all around the image. And as you can see, as the color of our background is literally the same all over the image, our work is really simple. There's one other tool which actually makes your work even simplest. or more simple, I'm not sure how should I say. And this tool is just using brush tool, of course. So what I'm going to do, have to adjust the size of the brush. And as I said before, we have the same background color all over the image. So what we have to do, just press out and take, um, using eyedropper, take a clone, from the background and as you can see I have very soft flow right now we can adjust our flow of course and as you can see just paint all over the areas you want to cover so as you can see very simple method and uh, nothing really complicated so that's something for beginners obviously beginners can enjoy these kind of things because it's very easy to fix these kind of things the only one problem to if your image is that bad at this one I mean if this image has so many bad spots the only one problem it takes a while probably maybe hour maybe even two hours sometimes but um, the truth is if you want to have really perfect macro photography you have to do some effort and I know many macro photographers has this problem when um, they shoot, there's a lot of bad spots and the problem is how to remove them. So <clears throat> there's not many options. We have just very simple tools, very basic tools to do this. And that's the best way actually. So if you have something like this as well, you can paint over the hair to bring it up. And as you can see, of course, to do this, really nicely we need some time so have a look as you can see that's how i'm doing this of course to do this really nicely it takes uh, some time so we can manage uh, by using brush tool by using clone stamp tool and do this in the way we really want as i said before we can adjust the flow it doesn't has to be such a strong flow so when we adjust this our work can we have a bit more comfort by doing our work we don't have to cover all of the shadows of course because sometimes it might look a bit plastic 
So that's the simple method to do these kind of things. Nothing really complicated as you can see, just cleaning the background like this. But uh, as I said, if we have a lot of spots like this, there's a lot of work in front of us. Other thing is when we clean up the image, we can use few simple adjustments to improve the colors. And one of these adjustments for sure is selective color. And I'm just picking up the colors that are similar to my original colors on the image. For example, greens. As you can see, working with greens, I can improve the green colors, make them a bit yellowish, a bit more livable. The same about blues. I can improve the blue colors on the image so the image will look much more dynamic. And the other thing is how I improve contrast on this kind of image is curves. By working with curves, we can simply adjust the curve to add a bit more contrast to the image, as you can see. Then we can, of course, work a bit more other curves. So that's I'm sorry for my voice, that's something very basic and as you can see by doing these simple steps we can simply fix our image, make this more dynamic but of course the first thing we have to do which is the most important, we have to paint over all of the background so most of the people asking me how to fix this and the only one way to fix this is just paint all, all over it like um, there's not one single tool to remove this we have a lot of spots like this all over the place so using clone stamp tool without any frequency separation or anything like that because we can actually influence the texture and when we paint over we can make this background as a one simple nice color so thank you for watching, that was very quick technique once again. Check out my course on skillfit.com. It's uh, probably the best thing I ever made. You can join for a free trial. And see you soon next week in another Photoshop tutorial.